Hello, today I would like to present you my recent purchase. It is a Parkside cordless orbital sander. It's using a 20 volt battery and they looks like this. From what I read, you can use it with a 4 amp hour battery, but it's preferred to be using a 2 amp hour and that's because of the width and we are going to see it. So it's using a standard 125 millimeter discs. It's using a Velcro so you can easily swap them. And they've got a included couple different setting sheets. So this is how it presents. It do not include the battery and charger. This is the model number. And let's take a look what we've got over there. So you're welcome to pause if you would like to read it. Let's take a look what we have got inside the case. So we've got our sander. We've got something like this. Yet to be honest I've got no idea what's that. It's kind of feel... I've got no idea. We are going to check the manual. We've got our sanding discs with a different gradation from a very small sandpaper to the coarse one. We've got adapter for a vacuum cleaner and our user manual for the first time we are going to check it. From what I read, the number 9 is tool for mounting our sandpaper. I've got no idea how to do it. I would assume that will allow us to guide it to the vacuuming holes because we've got holes and it's being used for sucking any debris. So I would assume that we have to align those two holes and you've got it nicely mounted and they all being aligned. Maybe it is a little bit easier than by doing it by your own hand, but if you know better than me, then please let me know. That bag should be feeling on its own, but if you need more, then you can attach here a vacuum cleaner. Here we've got an adapter for different size of the holes. And by having an active vacuum sucking the air, then it should be much more effective. Here we've got a switch, we've got a grip that we can align. Let me, let me tie that up. And yeah, it feels really nice. Did I choose a correct paper? Yes, that looks nice. Let's go back with uh, our dirt bag. Okay, we go like this. It's off. Let's attach the battery. And let's try to turn it on. And it's working really nicely. Yeah, it presents really nice. We can see that it's making that oscillation. For you, that was just a second, but I spent like two months doing my home restoration. And this is how this device present after the time. I forget to show you that element while I was recording on bench and you've got ability to adjust speed so you can remove like a lot of material or you can go and be a little bit gentle. I was sanding my walls to get nice finish and that's why it's covered in that white powder. Special for you, I leave one hole that was patched and sanded. I add that extra amount of material so you will be able to see how nicely it works. We are going to 
at just the speed and we are going to be vacuuming at the same time so you can observe how small amount of dust is coming out and this is the most important part that those holes must match to get a good suction. We are ready to begin our test. As you can see, I left over there a lot of material and that was done on purpose. So we've got a nice test case. Of course, I'm going to be using the vacuum cleaner. I'm going to attach my hose over there. This is how it looks like. As you can see, we've got absolutely beautiful, smooth finish. Do not pay attention how long does it took. And that's because I add a lot of material so we can check how the fume extraction work. And that was absolutely perfect. I do not see any dust and you most likely wasn't able to see that on the camera. So yeah, we've got absolutely beautiful job done and in my personal opinion this is extremely nice tool thank you very much for watching i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye